happy Friday. Happy Mommy Pearl weekend. It is 9.30. I decided to sleep in today. I was like, you know what? Screw that and screw that and screw that. I'm going to sleep in because I can. Now I have the toad face. Um, so welcome to Coffee Break with Mrs. Toad. Um, do you guys hear that? Why does it eat so loud? Sometimes chewing or breathing really gets on my nerves. How weird is that? That's weird, right? <laughs> that shouldn't happen. That's one of those like um, un unreasonable or irrational rage moments that we talked about in a get ready with me. Okay, so it's 9.30. I'm re-editing a video right now that a brand did not like. Um, so I'm trying to make something out of nothing, which is very, very difficult. Um, and then at 11 o'clock, I have my hopefully final oncology appointment. Um, a lot of you guys um, have asked how that's going and what's going on. So I had three iron um, infusion treatments or iron chemo. I know that offends some people, but that's what it's called. Um, and so I had three treatments, um, but in order for us to see if that actually works, and fixes me, um, we had to kind of just let it hang out and absorb. I feel great. And you guys saw like the, my eye color change, my skin color change, like something sticking around. So um, today is my appointment where we kind of go over my labs and see what the results are. So hopefully the iron treatments worked. Hopefully I'm storing ferritin. Hopefully I have baby hemoglobin because what I had was very minimal and it was like super old and like dilapidated and just dying and, and awful. Um, so fingers crossed. I'm feeling very optimistic because I feel great. Um, but who knows what's under the microscope. So that's today at 11. And then at um, 8 p.m. I have to do a podcast. I'm going to be a special guest on a love and relationship podcast. I don't know why they invited me, let's be honest. <laughs> <laughs> because I don't know anything about it clearly oh why okay hello why hello there hi princess <laughs> you're like you ain't doing this intro without me <laughs> why are you so pretty oh you're so pretty oh you're so pretty I love you I love you okay yeah so that's what we have going on today uh, I'll call you appointment podcast tonight and then tomorrow is Saturday it's Memorial Day weekend, y'all, and I don't have any plans. Like, why am I not wearing a bathing suit this weekend? Something feels wrong. Tomorrow is Saturday. I don't know what I'm doing tomorrow. What am I doing tomorrow? What am I doing Sunday? Oh my God. <laughs> the moment you realize that you have no plans. Oh man, that's kind of weird and lame. Maybe I should get back on the Bumble. <laughs> okay, so that's it, 9.30. I really need to finish this and then I need to go to my appointment. I'm not gonna have enough time to get ready for my appointment either, so I'm gonna have to do that like fake shower situation where you just leave your hair alone. It looks okay, right? Does it look yucky and dirty? Um, where I just leave my hair alone, do a little shh from the neck down action and then roll up in yoga pants. I'll just be like, oh yeah, I just got out of the gym. That's kind of why I don't smell so good. <laughs> okay, you guys, it is quarter to 11. I've always wanted to say quarter two, whatever, but I can't because I don't know how. Um, it's 1045. <laughs> we are heading out the door, but I wanted to show you guys my super ultra fabulous, very thoughtful outfit of the day, you guys. And my double chin, apparently. Um, so, I don't know. I think I look kind of cute for a doctor's appointment that could be a really good one. Uh, so, anyway, this t-shirt is the one that I told you guys. Y'all need to run to Kohl's, get every single color. It's called the Perfect Tee. I got mine for about $7 each. Then I'm wearing white jeans from Hudson. And these cute little espadrilles from... Um, Tori Birch, you guys, every spring and summer, bugs eat my feet. Can you see that? Man, there's like old, do you see that old scarring from previous years and then there's new ones now? <sighs> you guys, seriously, I don't, I don't know what to do. Do you see that one over there? I don't know what to do. Like, what do I put on my feet all the time, permanently, for the whole season so that they don't eat me? They don't eat me anywhere else, just my feet. It's awful. Anyway, we uh, really need to get going. You know what we should do? After our appointment, we should accidentally swing by in and out and eat in the car. Just saying.
you guys. So it's 11.30, leaving my doctor's appointment. So we have good news-ish, um, and then just regular news, I guess. So um, after my treatments, I lost about uh, three-fourths of the amount of iron that I received. Um, so I'm absorbing, but I'm not keeping the majority of it. Now my numbers are still good, like I'm still healthy, I'm still good, but um, it's kind of, it's gonna be one of those things where if I don't um, do something different, um, I'm gonna continue to have these um, iron deficiency or anemia problems. So basically my doctor was like, look, as long as you continue to have, and this is where we're gonna get TMI on y'all, he's like, we did these treatments, they helped you, you're healthy, you're good now, but you're always gonna be on this, you know, um, sort of up and down of like borderline anemia, um, unless you do something like birth control, IUD type stuff where it minimizes, you know, your cycle. I'm not a fan of birth control. Um, I've never really taken it. Um, I mean, I've tried it, but it's not something that I, that I use because I don't like the way my body reacts to it. So uh, I have a lot to think about. Hopefully um, we do well in the next few months. I mean, he's like, I don't need to see you back for six months. So unless you start feeling tired again and yucky, um, I'll see you in six months. We'll do new labs and see how you're doing. So now I'm thinking, uh, now I have to go back to my doctor um, and be like, all right, Give me some birth control. I uh, just, I don't know. I hate that. I don't like it. I really don't like to take it. It's such a hassle. Um, and it's funny because <laughs> I was always of the mentality of like, why doesn't the guy have to take birth control? And now that I'm single, not in a relationship, and it's not a factor, I'm like, man, it's like this thing where I'll have to take it regardless, <laughs> you know? It's kind of lame. Anyway, so because we didn't get bad news, I feel like we deserve some in and out. This is how I'm justifying eating two cheeseburgers for lunch, just saying. But you guys support my life choices, right? We're all friends here. No judgment, it's a judgment-free zone. So yeah, it's uh, 11.30, we're gonna go eat in the car and then uh, go home, shower, film a video, go to the podcast, and then have a first date. You guys, I'm the worst. You know what? I'm like one of those people that like gets knocked down 17 times and I get up 18. It's like it doesn't matter how many bad dates I could go on. I'm like, there's still love out there. There's still a fairy tale story for me waiting. It's just gonna take one more date. You know what I mean? What do they say? Um, like a person that's successful was a person that kept losing but tried one more time. Obviously, I didn't say it with like vernacular eloquence as I should have. <laughs> there's, a, there's a cuter way that that saying goes, but it's basically like everyone's a loser except for that one person that tries that one extra time and makes it, right? So that's kind of like how I feel that I am with love. I could go on 42 bad dates, but what if my 43rd date is the one, right? I don't know, I'm not a quitter, you guys, except maybe for the gym. I really need to figure that out. <laughs> How are you, Joe? Good. What can I get started for? Um, can I have a number two with onions and a Dr. Pepper? You got it. And an extra cheeseburger with onions as well. You got it. So two cheeseburger, both with the raw onion, everything on them, one fry and a Dr. Pepper? Correct. All for in the car or backed up to go? Uh, let's do it in the car. All right. Living dangerously today. Yeah. <laughs> you know, living, living my best life. <laughs> <laughs> you only got one. <laughs> 974 at the first one. Thank you. Do you guys want to see my food? It's like a secret. <laughs> so this is all my food. Uh, cheeseburgers with onions and uh, fries. Little yellow peppers uh, and my soda. Oh my gosh, you guys. You guys, I'm so blessed because I'm an inside out fat kid for sure. <laughs> I'm about to eat all this food and I'll 
I'll check in later. You guys, I'm very worried. You'll need to call an ambulance because I'm pretty sure I'm dying. So, I can't eat my food. I ate one whole cheeseburger and most of the fries and I'm legit, like the food feels like it's right here. I'm very worried. <laughs> this doesn't normally happen. Did my stomach shrink? This is, um, this is an emergency, okay? This is like a full on emergency. The cool thing is though, that while I was eating my cheeseburger in the car like a psycho, I was texting my friend Ariana and I was like, do you wanna have dinner with me today? You know, before my podcast? Because my podcast isn't until eight. She's like, uh, yeah. So now we're gonna have a girl's date. <laughs> so girl's date with my friend Ariana for dinner. Then we'll do the podcast. And then maybe some fun plans. But yeah, do you guys wanna see it? Like I'm kind of embarrassed. You know the silver lining or um, the good thing or the whatever is uh, Mern gets a cheeseburger now because why not? <laughs> She's gonna become addicted to In-N-Out like her mother. Look at this. This is sad and pathetic, isn't it? Like a whole cheeseburger. I kind of want to take a bite out of it just because it looks so pretty. But yeah, this is this is weird. I'm full, like I'm full on satisfied. The funny thing is too, for breakfast, I had turkey bacon, blueberries, and coffee. That's nothing. What is this? You know what this means? Something must be consuming my thoughts. Usually when I'm like super thinking, like super in my head, or I'm thinking about it a lot or something's weighing on me or I'm, I'm excited about something I don't get hungry I was hungry when I got in the line though what is it who knows I'll have to update you guys because I don't know so I just so happened to like drive by my PO box and I'm like you know what I'm gonna stop because Monday's a holiday and then I don't know when I'll have a chance to come back y'all need to tell me what this is all about okay look at this what is this? I hope it's not a body. You guys, it's one o'clock. Don't mind the panda eyes. Do you guys hear that? Every single time I get here, my dogs sound like they're getting murdered. I wonder if they bark the whole time I'm gone. Cause I spy on them on my like baby nanny cam. They don't. The minute they hear the garage, they freak the heck out. I don't know what happened. You guys wanna see something? So it was sunny, 96 degrees, I was out. Went to my doctor's appointment, went to In-N-Out, went to my P.O. Box, and then all of a sudden, in the blink of an eye, Texas weather hit, and this is what happens. Do you see how windy it is? I don't know if you guys can actually see how hard it's raining. It's insane. And now, I have to unload my car. The good thing is that I'm sure 99% of these packages are PR. Like, this is BH Cosmetics, Moroccan Oil, Pacifica, so yeah, it'll be, It'll be, it'll be a smooth process. But the exciting thing is, we are gonna give this cheeseburger to Mern and you guys are gonna bear witness to it. It's gonna be so exciting.
that was a PR extravaganza, let me tell you. I have never received that much PR in my PO box. I hardly ever get any PR, PR there. Um, that was insane. Holy moly. I don't know what I'm going to do with so much stuff. I'm going to have to do a giveaway. <laughs> anyway, um, I wanted to show you guys this other PR. I feel like, you know what I feel like? I feel like this PR business is turning into almost like a competition of who can send cooler PR. By the way, brioche or apron, who doesn't like a good a good apron, okay? <laughs> I love aprons. Um, I actually used to collect them, side note. Anyway, um, you saw the trunk, like the giant metal trunk that Soap and Glory sent me. That wasn't the only PR they sent me. They also sent me this, but I opened it when I was in the garage because I was like, man, this box is big. I don't want to bring it inside. Y'all ready for this? Marin, you want to show them? Do you want to show them? Come here. Boom. It's a pinata. It's a rubber ducky pinata with a sombrero. <laughs> Is this weird? What do you think? Is it cool or weird? It's a little fishy, huh? It's a little suspect. It's a little suspect. I'm guessing it's filled with uh, PR, right? Yeah, we'll have to open it. Oh, here we go. Ow, this hurts, Mern. Help mommy. Help me. Help me. Help me open it. Mern, help me. Help mama. Get it. Get it, Mern. Get the piñata. Here, help mommy open it. Hey, get it, mom. Get it. Get it, Mern. Get it. What's inside? Get it, Mern. She's like, I just uh, want to know if I can wear the sombrero, actually. So, Mern is very curious as to what's inside, you can tell. Come here, get, get it, what's in there? What's in there? <laughs> what is in there, mama? If it's so bad. <laughs> you too, are y'all taking turns? Your turn. <laughs> if it's soap and glory, there's probably cookies in here. They love sending cookies, so that's why they're being... Okay, it's a bath bomb, there's one. What do we have in here? Oh, how cute, look at that. Wesley, don't be weird. This is gonna take forever with one hand. A little body crush, I think that's a body lotion. I think this is what they were smelling. Candy, of course, it's a pinata. Wouldn't be a pinata without candy, you guys. These are all minis, I think they're like for travel. Okay, Mern, you're gonna need to give mommy space. Back it up, sister. Okay, what's this? This is a, oh my God, look at this. It's a little tequila. <laughs> nice, Soap and Glory, you are my new favorite PR. <laughs> Ooh, is this more tequila? <laughs> All right, Mern. It is, look, it's, it's Casamigos. <laughs> Oh my god, this is awesome. Oh, we got some body splash. This actually smells really good. Um, it's perfect for like post-gym. Um, what else? More lotion. Oh, look at this. Pink candy. Lots of pink. Oh, that's what they're smelling. The bottom is full of candy. It's all pink though. That is so cute. More tequila. Have you noticed that even like the bubble wrap is, is pink? This is a lot. This is, this is perfect for a Friday night. And today's a Friday night. Just throwing that out there. Well, Soap and Glory, you are Myrna approved. Look at this. This is probably the best pinata I've ever seen in my life. Look at <laughs> Do you like it? Hey. You like the piñata? <laughs> hey you guys, it's four o'clock. 
I guess Mern doesn't like lettuce. <laughs> I am running so behind. So I forgot that my vlog for tomorrow wasn't ready. Uh, and I had to sit down and finish that. Now I have to do my hair and makeup in one hour and be at the restaurant to meet Ariana. This is a problem. I'll catch you later. You guys, I'm running so late. Quick outfit of the day. Um, I wanted to look cute. So I'm being extra. Chambray shirt, leather skirt, and heels. You ready? Okay, so this is what we got. Target shirt. This is an Esther Penn fake leather skirt. And then some little leopard heels from DSW. They are Jessica Simpson. Uh, and that's all I got for you guys. Gonna head out to Union Bear with my friend Ariana and then uh, adventuring. I need to do something weird for a second. Don't judge me. Oh, I go for it. <laughs> hey, you guys, it's 7.30. Um, so I'm currently in my uh, lift, heading to, um, I don't even know what that area is called. It's by SMU, um, this like private school here in uh, Dallas, and uh, about to do our little podcast. So there's this podcast um, locally. Um, that's run by two awesome people, Zork and Emma, and it's a love and relationship podcast. And so they also have a dating app called Bopsy. And so the premise behind this dating app is almost like FaceTime dates or uh, speed dating dates. So you get like these little bl like blips, blurbs of dates uh, and you get to see somebody before you actually meet them in person. So they found out I was local and they wanted me to come out and be a part of their podcast. So I get to talk about my experience with dating and digital dating and all that stuff. Um, and then we're also gonna talk about uh, fashion in dating. You know, the expectations of like what women have for guys and what guys have for women and what we think we should wear and what we, should, what we think they should wear and et cetera, et cetera. So it's gonna be super exciting. So I'll bring you guys along to that. I'm sure they don't mind if we uh, vlog a little bit of it. Um, so we're gonna do that uh, right now at eight. And then after, I'm going to meet a boy. <laughs> um, looking forward to that. So I'll be in like this area. You know, this is what happens when you live in the suburbs is you forget the names of cool places where all the kids hang out. Um, <clears throat> so I don't know what we're gonna do after, but for now, we're heading over to this podcast, so I look forward to uh, bringing you guys along and seeing what shenanigans we get into, but I can't imagine it's going to take us two hours, right, to do a podcast? Maybe they'll have beer? <laughs> anyway, let's go. Hey, hey, you guys. Eight o'clock. So I'm here at Zorik's apartment, and I just met the lovely Emma and Zorik. They're like this duo team of super spectacular love experts. We're just gonna say that. <laughs> so uh, we are going to do a podcast. So do you guys wanna say hi? Hi. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> so what is the name of this podcast? It's called The Date Podcast. The Date. I like that, very yeah. simple. So The Date, we're gonna talk about what to wear on a date. Yes. What to wear on a date, what else? Expectations on what we think other people should wear on dates Ooh, too. Expectations is such a bad word. And just dating experiences yeah. in general. This is gonna be very exciting. You guys wanna <laughs> be a part of it? Anyway, we're gonna do our podcast now and then whenever that goes live, I'll have it linked in the description box below. So if you guys wanna be a part of the date community, then uh, there'll be a link down there for you guys to check out and uh, listen to me be a love expert, single and divorced and miserable on Bumble. Yay! <laughs> hey you guys, happy Saturday. It's 12.30. I have just spent the entire morning in bed. My head hurts so bad. I've had a headache for about a week now, um, but it's just one of those like lingering back of my eye type headaches. It's like, can you just give me a migraine or get the heck out of my life? <laughs> it's just a really low. And so this morning, um, I was just like, I don't, I don't wanna get up. I don't wanna see the sun. I don't wanna see happiness. <laughs> I haven't had coffee yet. Um, I haven't had anything to eat. I think the headache might also be getting worse because I'm a little dehydrated. I haven't had any water to drink. Um, I'm, ho I'm horrible at drinking water, horrible. Um, so I need to bless you 
So I need to figure that out. I'm gonna make some breakfast right now um, and some coffee, and then I'll jump in the shower. Maybe that'll like perk me up or wake me up a bit. But um, last night, um, the podcast, you guys, oh my God, Love and Relationship Podcast was so much fun. But I think ultimately what made me the most excited was meeting Zork and Emma because they're two people that um, I kind of want to be my friends. <laughs> they're such a great duo. Uh, it was so, it was just, it was so much fun. I look forward to listening to this podcast. Um, by the way, it's a podcast on love and relationships for adults. <laughs> Just throwing that out there. Um, anyway, um, and then after I went to Up on Knox, it's like, like a little corner. Uh, oh my gosh, I heard the sound and it sounded like one of my dogs was peeing in the kitchen. I almost murdered because they know better. It, it wasn't, don't worry, <laughs> false alarm. I'm like that like mom that's like insanely strict. I'm like, whoa, whoa. Um, anyway, uh, up on Knox. So we went to up on Knox. It's one of those like um, really pretty uh, old school type Dallas bars on a corner and then like open the walls up. It faces the street. It's so cute. Um, they serve like the drinks in like real crystal. I don't know. It was like kind of fancy. Um, it was, uh, it was fun. It was great. This guy, perfect gentleman, super sweet, very handsome. Um, it, it was, uh, it was good. So I look forward to, um, maybe having a second or third date with him and getting to know him, uh, slowly and on a normal pace, <laughs> on a no ghosting pace. Uh, and then, uh, what else? I didn't get home until late. Thank God I took a lift. Um, I hate driving late and it's, ho it's a holiday weekend. It's just not worth the risk, you know? Uh, anyway, so I got up super early, like around seven. Um, but I just, I was like, I'm not having it. It's not happening. I'm not having it. I'm not getting up. Um, and even Sophia was like, no, I'm, I got you, mom. We're in this together. And we have just been laying in bed in the dark, like with the, um, with the curtains drawn and everything until just now. So the only reason I got up was because I'm starving, I'm thirsty, and I got a package delivered. I thought it was something super exciting, but it's just little water shoes for my nugget. <laughs> you wanna see? So you guys know children, um, I don't know about yours, but my three-year-old, if I ask him to be barefoot, it's like murder. <laughs> he doesn't really like it. So I thought we need to get you some water shoes that will fit you now because we're gonna be doing lots of fun stuff at like, uh, uh, you know, water park type things and Six Flags. So I thought they were kind of cute. Hopefully they fit him. Um, and then yesterday, after all of this mess, yes, that's trash. Um, after all of this mess, um, I also got these delivered, um, which you guys know with kids, man, they grow out of stuff so fast. So I got them little matching Tiva sandals. My six-year-old has the biggest foot on the planet. Look at how little these are. Look at little baby Tivas. I thought, I was like, wow, I can actually get some of these in my size because they make uh, sandals for the whole family. But I just, I couldn't bring myself to wear sandals like this. <laughs> I would try, I would try my best for my boys, but I just, I can't. Um, they're, they just look like boy sandals, you know? So they got little Tivas, little water shoes. Anyway, this lighting is even worse. Uh, so I'm gonna make breakfast, uh, jump in the shower and shake it off and hopefully we'll be good to go for a lot of work and uh, some fun tonight. Um, but that's it, that's my update, I love you. Hey you guys, eight o'clock. Clearly I'm in the same clothes I was earlier this morning. Um, I haven't done anything. I found this mask in my collection and I was like a mud mask in the form of a sheet. I need to get after this. This is the weirdest sheet mask I've ever used. It's from Karuna, it's the clean mud face mask. Um, these are their newest sheet masks. They actually sent them to me as PR a few weeks ago. They also have a hydrating one and then like an uh, mattifying oil removal, whatever one. So let me show you the other two. So the one that I'm using right now is the mud mask for um, deep cleaning and purifying. Um, but then they also have the Hydra Mud face mask. This is with um, hyaluronic acid and aloe to hydrate dry skin. And then I'm watching a movie. There's no actual murder happening in my house right now. Then the matte mud with Kaylin Clay uh, for removing oil and tightening pores. That's this one. So the mask itself is an actual sheet mask, but it comes with two sheets, like a, like a three ply type product. So you remove one, you put it on, you remove the other cover. It's like, it's like a sheet of mud. It's so weird, but it's an actual cloth. So I think what it is is like a cloth saturated with like a mud mask.
I don't know, but from the minute you put it on, your face feels super, super tight. And it smells really good. I'm a little worried about my eyebrows right now because it's gonna probably rip them off, but what are you gonna do? <laughs> all in the name of research. I can't move my mouth to talk, so I sound all weird. Anyway, eight o'clock. I'm just gonna wash this off as soon as it uh, gets hard. <laughs> Cochinas. Um, and then I'm gonna go to bed. We have to get up early tomorrow because we're gonna go to the 8 a.m. mass like last weekend. I really love doing that, so I'm gonna do that again tomorrow. Um, but it's eight o'clock now. I'll probably be asleep by nine because, you know, Wild Saturday nights, y'all. Hey, you guys, happy Sunday. It's almost eight o'clock. Um, I showered, I did my hair, put on a dress, and we are heading over to uh, Mass at eight o'clock. But I wanted to show you guys my dress. It's old, it's a year or two old. It's from Lauren Conrad uh, at Kohl's. Uh, I'm having a horrible hair day today for some reason. I think I did it way too fast, and it's just kind of like zero effort, y'all, zero effort. You guys see how it's just like, it's just falling flat and underwhelming. Uh, this is the dress, it has little palm trees on it. It's long all the way to the ground. And uh, those are the sandals I bought when Sam was visiting. And that's it. Thank you, you too. Good morning. Good, morning. Good how are you? And your bacon and cheese biscuit and a sausage mac noodle and a hash brown. Thank you. Have a good day. All right, you guys, I will not confirm or deny that I am living my best life, okay? Just hoping this breakfast doesn't make me sleepy because we have a lot of work to do. It is 9.15, I just left mass. It was one of those homilies that you just like really need. It kind of hits the spot. Uh, so I'm feeling great and refreshed. I took all day yesterday to kind of just decompress, clear my mind, um, like a mental health day. <laughs> So today was very important. Um, anyway, uh, I have to tell you guys something though, and this is this is kind of where um, I don't know. It just it's kind of like like a mind or like a mind trick. So yesterday I saw a bunch of movies laying on the couch with my dogs, and one of the movies that I saw, or rather the first movie that I saw yesterday, where I decided that I was just going to take the day off completely, I made breakfast, I changed the channel, and the first movie that had just started was The Box, right? And this movie is uh, with Cameron Diaz. It's like a psych thriller, um, and basically the whole premise behind the movie is. Um, humanity and how you uh, are I guess undeniably selfish like it's very hard for you to um, uh, not be selfish um, and so the whole concept of this movie is this guy shows up to your house offers you a box that has a red button if you push the button by five o'clock the next day you get a million dollars cash and someone that you don't know somewhere in the world is gonna die right and so uh, the guy's really creepy he's like missing half his face um, but then you become so consumed with guilt of this person dying and you start to notice all this weird stuff happening um, that you beg for forgiveness, right? And you're like, how can I undo this? I wanna undo this, take the money back. Like, I, I, ch I changed my mind, I changed my mind. And he's like, oh, well, you know what? It's actually kind of too late. And by the way, your child is blind and deaf. So unless you kill your wife, so the it's usually like a couple that the guy approaches, right? And so unless, and the wife is usually the one that pushes the button, so, he says, unless you kill your wife because she pushed the button, your child will live the rest of his life blind and deaf. So the person that dies that you don't know is yourself, right? <laughs> anyway, it's actually about aliens. <laughs> I probably should have said spoiler alert. Anyway, a big part of the movie is that this guy, uh, like the leader that makes all the offers is uh, some guy from NASA that's like got abducted by aliens or something. Um, and so now he's actually an alien. Um, and um, so his uh, army of people, um, they all get nosebleeds. And that's how you know. So that's how you know that he's, he's kind of possessed them, I guess. So they get nosebleeds. Y'all, this morning, after I took a shower, I got a nosebleed and I was like, oh, that's funny. It's probably just because the weather's been like super random, right? Like hot one day, cold another, storm one day, whatever. So I was like, okay, it's just a weather thing. Um, so I got a nosebleed. And then at church today, in the middle of mass, two people got a nosebleed. <laughs> what the snatch, y'all? 
what is happening? <laughs> oh my God, I thought it was super weird, but I was like, well, this doesn't at all. Like if, if I was supposed to draw some sort of connection of what's going on, it has nothing to do with the movie because I'm not in that place right now. Anyway, uh, life is weird. And uh, it's so funny how you, you're able to draw like similitudes between things that are occurring in your life or things that you've been exposed to. But anyway, if we're getting invaded by Mars, I mean, now you know. I, I, I'm already part alien because I got my nosebleed. <laughs> and some members of my church are probably already aliens too. So there's that. Uh, I'm an alien. <laughs> if we take anything from this conversation is I'm an alien now. Anyway, I'm going to go home, eat breakfast, hang out with my dogs, get a bunch of work done. Next week is Orlando, so I have a lot of editing to do too. Um, but I don't think I will be going out um, today at all. Uh, if anything, I'll go uh, get some groceries. But other than that, that's all I got for you. Um, 9.15, like I said, and uh, I'll catch you later. Alligator from this alien from Mars. <laughs>bunch of random stuff I had at the house. Lots of leftover HelloFresh ingredients, some random pasta, leftover sauce. Um, I basically made uh, Parmesan and pancetta tomato sauce with thin spaghetti and uh, herbed garlic bread. It's, but it's going to be really good. Let me just let me just throw that out there. It's going to be delicious. Uh, it's two o'clock. I haven't done anything. I accidentally fell asleep. How does that happen? <laughs> Ask this one. <laughs> so we just used some thin spaghetti, lots of leftover uh, marinara sauce, uh, sauteed up some pancetta with fresh garlic, added some herbs de Provence, which is just rosemary, thyme, oregano, some lavender. Um, and this was leftover bread, leftover garlic, butter, um, 
from HelloFresh. The herbs that I use were HelloFresh. The pancetta was HelloFresh. And all of this is pretty soon gonna be Danny Fresh in my tummy. Hey, you guys, it's 7 p.m. What have I done with my life? Nothing. I just watched Bad Boys 2. For what apparent reason? Because that movie is awful. Why is it so long? If it's a bad movie, usually like what, an hour and 15, an hour and 20 minutes and you're good? I'm a huge Will Smith fan and uh, Gabrielle Union. That movie was really bad. I just wasted like four hours of my life I'll never get back. I'm finally sitting down to film at 7 p.m. on a Sunday. So this is the plan. I'm gonna try and film four, vid four videos. Four, I can't even talk, maybe I'll just film one. <laughs> I'm gonna try and film four videos. Um, one of them is gonna be a first impression on the Mallywood collection from um, Mally, Mally Roncal, my uh, Filipina sister. Um, and uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'll do my face. I'm gonna do foundation, powder, brows, and then we'll play with her stuff. She has like really cute stuff you wanna see. So this is the blush in the collection. The packaging is all adorable. Like you get, the colors inside could be crap, but how cute is this? Who even cares what the inside looks like? However, this is a magical blush. It has four blush shades and two highlighters and you're supposed to swirl them together and it gives you definition, structure, and highlighting. At least that's what the packaging says. Then you have a highlighter palette. Can we talk about how extra that is? I think that's probably one of the reasons why I love Mally so much. She's so successful, so independent, so wonderful. She has a great personality, super bubbly, but she's hella extra. <laughs> like in the best way possible, you know what I mean? Like she's so humble that it's not like, it's totally acceptable. It's just great, I love it. Um, and then this is the eyeshadow palette. Um, look at that. I really like, you could tell I've already used that one, so that's not gonna be a first impression because I actually used that as a transition shade the other day for something that I was doing and I loved it. Um, and then a mascara. This is the other thing in the collection. So I'll do my entire base and then we'll go in with this in that video. Then I also wanna do my misses and my what is this sorcery video. Um, I do have to do an Ulta video, my June skin fatuation video, um, which is also a giveaway like every month but uh, I burned my forehead with the curling iron this morning and I didn't realize how bad it was. I was talking to Sam and I was like, you know what, I can't even think because my forehead's throbbing so much. But I just thought it was like one of those like barely there type thing. Oh my God, look at these panda eyes. Look at that, oh man. Yeah, I thought it was just like a barely burn, but it's getting worse and worse and worse. And I'm worried because tomorrow I'm going to um, the water park and then Friday I'll be in Orlando all weekend. So I can't, I need to like put a Band-Aid or something over that because it's gonna leave a horrible mark. So is this and this. So I need to figure out what I'm gonna do about that. As you get older, the things you think about like, oh, I need to cover this so I don't get like a uh, hyperpigmentation or whatever. Anyway, I need to film. I need to focus. This is my coffee from the morning because uh, that's how we roll, okay? Don't judge me. Hey, you guys, 9.30. We are still at the grind, filming away. I don't know why I had no energy all day today, and now I'm like, yeah, let's pump out this footage. Uh, do you guys like my hairdo? I don't know what I was thinking. I'm like, I'm having second thoughts right now, but the hair tie is too tight, and I don't wanna take it out because it's gonna hurt. <laughs> now I'm like, I'm um, stuck with a permanent facelift until I cut the little tie out. Anyway, I'm not very sold on this uh, hairstyle, but we're just gonna roll with it. I'm about to talk crap about some beauty products. We are gonna film our Mrs. video, which is uh, long overdue. Do you guys like my shirt? It says weekends are for coffee and puppies. Yeah, so that's what we're gonna do right now. We're gonna talk crap about some beauty products. Hopefully it's a well-received video. Um, but uh, I guess we'll find out. I don't know what time I'm going to bed. I still need to do this video and then another video, I think, maybe. I'll have to check. You know, I'm so, I'm so prepared like always. As for you, <laughs> that's so annoying, you guys. That's like the new, is it because I'm tan? guys to 
10.30. I want to go to bed. Anyway, so here's the rundown. Uh, it's Sunday. Tomorrow is Memorial Day. I'm going to take the boys to the water park. And then Friday, I go to Orlando with Sam. Um, so there will be no vlog of Orlando. I just need to disconnect, uh, decompress, regroup, relax, work on my tan. So I'm not going to lie to you guys. The last few weekends have been a little, um, hard for me. Um, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but there have been full days missing from the vlog. And the reason they're missing is just because I am on the couch or I'm just in my bed or I'm just I'm just disconnected, unplugged um, and just decompressing and, and keeping myself away from the world. Um, you know, it's just been rough. It's been a hard couple of weeks um, just with everything that's going on, you know, just feeling this extreme overwhelming sensation of, of life whether it's love and relationships, uh, my abilities as a mother, my abilities to keep up with my day-to-day -day activities, um, my, my job, you know, I, I try not to let things bother me and they usually don't. But then when I kind of hit this point where I'm on a downward slope, the things that don't normally bother me, bother me, you know? And so I'll like look too much into my analytics for, for YouTube, or I read too much into getting ghosted, whereas it wouldn't bother me, you know, last month or six months ago or whatever. So, um, you know, it kind of happens in, um, in like waves where you could be doing super, super well. And the things that, you know, should bother you don't. And then when you're not doing very well, the things that don't normally bother you do. So that's just kind of been my state of mind lately. Um, so I'm just going to take advantage of Orlando to really relax and enjoy myself and be with good company and work on my tan. Um, but um, yeah, I don't want to, I'm not going to bring my camera. I'm not going to vlog. I'm not going to do anything like that. Uh, my friend Ariana actually sent me a few articles um, that she stumbled upon. Uh, one of them really kind of made an impression on me. It was about um, why strong, powerful, independent women pick certain types of men. And as I was reading it, I was like, oh my God, there's the answer to my problems. <laughs> there was this one portion in the article that really stood out to me because it said that uh, the reason that we pick these potentially failed relationships in advance is because we don't know what it's like to be accepted uh, during childhood. And I'm like, I was never accepted during childhood. You know, everyone was mean to me and I would get jumped and beat up. My car got, you know, keyed and, and, and the tires got slashed and, you know, th they would break into my locker and, and throw my books away and push me around and I got stood up for prom. So my entire youth was not being accepted. So uh, it makes sense, you know. Uh, Anyway, I, I try to be optimistic and I look at life as a series of events, not, you know, an end all be all. It's just, you know, one day at a time. Um, but, you know, it was a little bit of a hard um, weekend just because of everything that's been going on and then not getting the actual results from my oncologist that I was expecting and stuff like that. So, um yeah, Orlando is 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 coming right on time. So I'm gonna miss you guys, but I will definitely have a Saturday video for you guys. My arm was killing me. Anyway, so that's it for this weekend. 10.30, I'm gonna go wash my face, get ready for bed. Super excited about tomorrow because we're gonna go to the water park. Super nervous about my forehead because I don't want that to leave a mark. Um, I'm gonna have to wear one of those like super bougie-tastic hats. <laughs> <laughs> that's never stopped me so like every other vlog anything that you saw that you liked that I talked about that I wore will be listed and linked in the description box below if there's anything that I miss send me a comment or a message and I will try and get back to you but other than that uh thank you guys for being such a positive light in my life for being a constant you guys never underestimate the power of a constant. It's something that is reliable. It's something that's always there. It's something that you can depend on. It's something that uh, 
you really should never take for granted. So just a reminder, I don't take you guys for granted and I love you so much. You know what to do. If you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, this coffee break is over. Bye guys. You're serious. This dog was in my bedroom asleep and she heard my outro. She's the worst, you guys. <laughs> you are the worst nutter butter of the whole world. Yes, you are. You're the worst nutter butter. Can you say bye to everybody? Huh? Say bye. Sophie, say bye. Say, if you found this video useful, entertaining, and learned something, please give me a pull up and subscribe to my mama's channel so you can see me crash all her intros and outros. Because that's my jam, everybody. That's my prerogative. This is my intro and outro dog. I should change her name to intro. <laughs> oh, mommy, you're the worst. You make me so happy. Yes, you do. You are my constant. You are my constant. I love you. <laughs>